Hey guys, Hamad Benesha here from Anduit.ca. Uh, if you are located anywhere in Canada and if you have a MacBook that has liquid damage, that has a broken LCD, the MacBook with a GPU problem, a MacBook that doesn't turn on, a MacBook that does not charge, a MacBook with no backlight, a MacBook with a USB-C, USB HDMI ports not working, a uh, MacBook that needs a new trackpad, a new keyboard, or a MacBook with a lock on it, whatever it is, you name it, we can undo it. I hope you will enjoy the next video repair. Thanks for watching. Well, hi guys, and uh, comme d'habitude, un petit coucou à nos amis francophones. Uh, today we have a MacBook Pro 2010 model A1278. Uh, it doesn't power up, it doesn't turn on, okay? So let's give it a try again. I'm gonna plug it in. Uh, we're gonna try it again. So you got light, you got power, but it doesn't turn on. Okay, so let's open it up and take a quick look. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, okay, as usual, first thing first, let's remove the battery, unplug the battery, okay. Secondly, we're gonna do a quick vis vis visual inspection, uh, see if there is any liquid damage or anything like uh, shouldn't be there or unusual, like a burn capacitor or something that's so obvious. But uh, so far, I don't see anything, uh, you know, that that's uh, abnormal or Okay, so now I know for a fact, because I've done so many of those, that this is a model 20 to 2010, okay? And uh, this is a dual core, l l by looking at the, um, the, L the LCD connector over here. Um, we're gonna check the power quickly. Say, so, okay, now, when I plug it in, okay, let's put back this over here. We're gonna put back the back cover because we're gonna flip it over. We don't want to scratch the board. Okay, I'm just going to put one, sc one or two screws. Just want to show something. Okay, so this machine, as you can see, with the charger, get light. It gets light, okay, but it doesn't turn on. The fact that we get lights on the on the charger, uh, it's a good news, okay? It means that there is a um, uh, 12 volt on this machine, and there's also a 3.42 volt. Okay, because that's where it comes from. Okay, so we can, if you like, measure quickly. So we're gonna check for the 3.42. On this model, is uh, you can grab it from here. As you can see here, 3.41.6 or 7, so it's 3.42. Okay, so the power comes in, comes at 16 volt, and then and then and then you get 12 volt here, you get 3.42 volt. So the, what's missing in here for the machine to turn on is 3.3 volt and um, 5 volt. But since I don't see any liquid damage on this machine, and based on the experience that I have and knowing that it's a 2010 model. Unlike the 2011, 2012, okay, when you plug in the, the, the MagSafe for the charger on the 2011 and 2012, it should start automatically, okay? You, you'll see the fan going on automatically. On the 29 model, 29, 2010 model, it does not. You need to press the power. Okay, now knowing that uh, this is a 2010, and the fact that I got 3.42 volt, um, I believe the problem is with the power button with the keyboard, okay? An easy way to find out, I'm gonna jump, um, this is the keyboard connector, I'm gonna jump pin number five, and if it turns on, well, that's a great news, and we know that's uh, the power button, okay? So it was probably liquid damage or something. So 
I'm gonna jump pin number five. And here you go. See? The fan is turning on. Let's see if we have the chime. There you go. And the machine is on. Okay, so good news, 2010, there is no problem with um, with the logic board, it's only the, the, the keyboard. Okay, but just to be 100% sure, that's only the keyboard. We're gonna test a different keyboard, so I'm gonna unplug this. I'm gonna push the, the cable a little bit under. Okay, and I should also let you know about something important. So this model, as you can see, the the keyboard is not a, is not a U.S. keyboard uh, or not North American keyboard. It's a European keyboard. Okay, the U.S. Key, uh, the U.S. keyboard, the enter key is you know it's, it's much larger here. This is the enter key. Okay, um, luckily enough for for us is that I always we always try to keep a different model. So I do have a European model. Okay, so we're gonna test this. See if the power button is good. And if it is, well, we'll just replace the keyboard. So, let's plug in this here. Get the tweezer. There you go. I'm gonna plug in the battery. I'm gonna test the power button. And here you go. It's turning on. So, realistically, all we have to do on this one is to replace the keyboard. Um, there is uh, other videos on how to replace keyboards on, uh, on the mo model uh, 13 inch uh, A1278. Uh, you can just watch a video if you don't know how to replace the keyboard. Um, the good thing is that uh, A1278, which is MacBook Pro 13 inch, the keyboard replacement is pretty much the same for uh, year 20, 2009 all the way to 2012. So if you have 2009, 10, 11, or 12, you can, you can watch that video and it's pretty much the same procedure on how to replace the keyboard. Okay, so remember, um, if you need help, you can send it over to us, we can fix it for you. Hopefully you learned something today, and remember, whatever you do, we can undo it, undoit.ca. Thank you, thank you very much for watching, the, for watching this video, until the next video, thank you. And don't forget to subscribe, thank you, bye-bye.